Hey you guys! Today we will show you how to install the Dual Z and Magnetic Bed upgrades for the TiVo Tarantula Pro. You can choose to have these upgrades included when you buy the printer or buy them separately later on. As we mentioned before, if you assemble the Tarantula Pro correctly following our assembly techniques, the printer will run perfectly with only one Z motor and one lead screw. Nevertheless, if you want to install the second Z, we will show you how. When you buy the Dual Z kit separately, you will get the extra stepper driver and stepper motor, and all the mechanical parts such as screws, bearings, lead screw nut, coupling, etc. You will also get a belt and pulleys to link both old and new lead screws. But first, let's start with the print surface. The stock Tarantula Pro comes with the standard sticker. This one works pretty well, but it came with the holes for the leveling screws and sometimes it's hard to remove the prints. The magnetic print surface will take care of those issues. So start by removing the old print surface and clean the aluminum plate. Make sure you have no glue remains on the plate. Take the magnetic print surface and check if both pieces are aligned and also with the correct magnetic alignment. This will help you to know the correct orientation of the bottom sheet. Then carefully glue the bottom piece to the aluminum plate. Confirm it's completely flat and with no air bubbles underneath. Now just lay the print surface on top and if you have manual leveling, don't forget to adjust the end stop. So make sure you do that before your next print. Now let's do the second Z installation. And we will start with the right plate. There are three screws that secure the wheels on that plate. We need to replace the stock screws with these longer ones because they will also secure the back plate. For this, it's easier if you use an Allen key and a wrench to unscrew the lock nuts. Take the old screw out and reinstall the spacer and the wheel. For these two wheels, you need to add a second spacer after the wheel. For the inner wheel, it's a bit different because of the eccentric nuts. So take the old screw out and insert the new screw. Reinstall the eccentric nut and pay attention to its orientation. Next, you have the shim and then the wheel. After the wheel, you add a second shim and a second eccentric nut. Again, pay attention to the orientation of the second eccentric nut. Hold that for a second and get the new lead screw nut, four spring washers, four M3 nuts and four M3 by 12 screws. Take the back plate and install the second lead screw nut on it.
Now we can install the back plate and secure it with the three lock nuts. The inner wheel has now two eccentric nuts, so you need to adjust them both, making sure the wheel is parallel with the vertical profile. Next, get the motor support mount and a couple of Phillips screws. Secure it to the new stepper motor. Then take the M4 by 12 screws and T nuts and install them here in the motor mount. On the left side, we install the Z motor on top of the horizontal profile. But on the right side, we have the power supply mount plate, so we have to install the motor on top of this. It will work the same, but you need to make sure that the motor is perfectly parallel with the vertical profile. Find the flat side of the motor shaft and insert the coupling, but don't insert it all the way. The motor shaft must be below the area where the lead screw will be. Tighten both set screws, making sure that one of them is tightened against the flat side of the motor shaft. Take the O-ring and place it in the coupling. Next, take the lead screw and screw it in the lead screw nut and all the way down and in the coupling. And then secure it with both set screws. And at the top side, insert the timing belt pulley. Give a bit of distance between the pulley and the top profile and tighten the set screws. Get the belt and loop it around the pulley. Next, get the second pulley, pass the belt around it and install it on the other lead screw. Adjust the height so that the belt is perfectly horizontal and tighten the set screws. Finally, install both top bearings and bearing plates. and the mechanical installation is done. Now we need to install the new driver so you need to access the electronics underneath the printer. On the board you will find a spare driver slot. This is where you will install the second Z driver. When you order the dual Z upgrade kit you have to choose which driver you want. Since I already have a TMC2208 driver for the first Z driver, I ordered a TMC for the second one. If you have an Allegro on the first Z, you should order an Allegro driver for the second Z. Before installing the driver, check the jumper configuration. For the TMC, you need to remove the third jumper. For the Allegro, you can leave all three jumpers. You will need to check the VREF voltage of this new driver before connecting the second Z motor cable. But since we already explained this procedure in detail in a previous video, we will skip that. If you need, check the video description for the link of that video. Once checked and adjusted, connect the cable and pass it to the back side of the printer. And then connect the cable to the motor.
and the installation is now complete. All we need to do now is level both Z axes. To do that, lower the Z by manually turning the couplings. Next, you will need to measure the distance between the bottom profile and the X axis profile. You can use a ruler or a caliper. If you need to adjust, loosen the set screws of the right pulley, hold it with one hand and turn the lead screw with the other hand. By turning this lead screw, you will raise or lower the right side only and therefore leveling the X axis profile. Tighten the set screws when done and don't forget to level the bed. Now all we need to do is flash the firmware to add the second Z motor. Connect the printer to the PC and open your favorite firmware version with Arduino. In Configuration ADV tab, search for the Dual Z settings and uncomment the line that defines the usage of the second Z stepper driver. Flash the firmware and it's ready to go. To test the printer, we chose to use a different kind of filament. This one changes its color according to the temperature. For lower temperatures, the filament will be dark, and for higher temperatures, the filament will turn pink. And that's it you guys, any questions let us know in the comment section below. If you like the video leave us a like and if you are not a subscriber yet click on subscribe and don't forget to activate the little bell so that you can be notified every time we publish a new video. And if you like our channel and wish to help us make more cool videos you can with Patreon or Paypal. Keep following us here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We will see you guys next time. Bye!